Welcome back to Throttle, guys. As you can see here, I have our 2021 Subaru STI sweepstakes car that we've partnered with the Hoonigans to build for one of you guys. So I'm gonna do a really quick walk around, show you guys some of what we have here and explain to you what we're waiting on. As always, we have our Falcon, a Zenus RT660. We also have a bunch of parts from Mishimoto. So we have a radiator, an oil cooler, radiator lines that are silicone, and then we're gonna be doing a fluid flush with the Peak Original Equipment Technology coolant to make sure that the coolant system is in tip top shape. We also have a new partner to us. They've been working with us on the last couple builds. These are Revel Touring Sports Dampers. We're gonna be throwing 300V and a nice brand new K&N filter on this as well. Auto maintenance is very important to us and we like to only use the best when we do it. Moving on, I'm super excited to announce that we are now partnered with Cobb Tuning. You can find all of their products on throttle.com now. Super excited because in our opinion, they are the pinnacle of Subaru tuning. So really happy to have Cobb on board. They sent us off a bunch of goodies for this car. We've got their overflow reservoir. I mean, look at how pretty this stuff is. Absolutely beautiful. These are off the shelf parts that any of you guys can order from throttle.com. They sent us off their shift knob, oil cap. We're also adding their access port, which is 50 state legal, which is really cool. It'll help us extract a few more ponies out of this thing that it already has. We're gonna pair that with their titanium exhaust. We also have Cartboy on board, who is a neighbor of ours, actually just right up the street, and uh, he let us come over and go shopping. We've got sway bar end links, we've got mounts for the transmission, shift linkage. We've got the Cartboy pitch stop. We've got the sol or urethane bushings for the shifters. So we're gonna be throwing the whole urethane package from Cartboy at this thing. We've even got their exhaust hangers, which are super cool in the STI pink color. Got a battery tie down and a short shifter, which we're gonna actually install in this video. This is probably the premier product from Cartboy is their short shifter. Most people that have Subarus absolutely love those shifters. So we're gonna actually install that today paired with the throttle shift knob. We also have some fluoro yellow and black badges that we're gonna to toss on here to keep that fluoro yellow brake caliper theme going throughout the build. Uh, we also have sway bars here with urethane mounts. These are from Cobb as well. And moving on to probably my favorite piece of this build, Cobb titanium dual exhaust. This thing is an absolute work of art. If you have an STI, I highly recommend checking out this exhaust system. Look at how beautiful these welds are on this titanium. A lot of people like a burnt titanium look. I love this gold look when it comes out gold like this. It is so pretty. It's gonna be a fantastic addition to this one. Moving on, we've got our TSW wheels. We went with more of a track inspired wheel. This is a rotary forged wheel, so it's fairly lightweight for a cast wheel. And in the satin black, I think it's a great fit for the white paint and the fluoro yellow calipers. It's gonna look sick on here. Uh, a lot of the exterior parts are not here. So the full body kit that's coming as well as some of the other outside exterior uh, parts are not here yet. Do you know we're gonna throw some carbon at this thing as well? But now it's time for us to get started on this. So I'm gonna grab that Cartboy shifter and Ricky's gonna go ahead and toss that in for you guys. So we have our first uh, set of modifications for our new STI sweepstakes car and it's gonna be a Cartboy shifter. I'm very excited to install this. It's a very nice looking component and you- You've done, you done one of these. No, no you, you I have, have not. not. I have not. I've done a few of these things. It, it is a big difference when it comes to stock. So today I actually want to show like the difference between the OEM brand new STI versus the uh, Cartboy short shifter. So I'm gonna grab a tape measure and I'm gonna start measuring from third to fourth. For the throw? For the throw. Okay, cool. And Cartboy guarantees a 40% decrease and at least an inch of short throw difference. So cool. we're gonna put you to a test, bro. I'm excited. What the hell? Yeah. That's third. Are we going? Are we going center on the shifter? Yeah, we gotta go center. Okay, so six and a half, about center. How the hell is that six and a half? What are you talking about? Hold on. That's five six. That's six and a half. Five and a half. 
five and a half. Oh, five and a half. Look at this guy. It's it's backwards. This is a metric tape measure. <laughs> okay. So five and a half on center. <laughs> Give me fourth. Fourth gear. Oh my god! He <laughs> went hella back. That's almost. That's almost nine. That's so it's like over nine. That's over eight and a half. No, it's about eight and a half. It's about eight and a okay, half. Okay, okay. So three inches. Three. Hey, that's not Will. a bad day. Will. Will. Will knows a lot about three inches. <laughs> That half inch makes a difference. <laughs> <laughs> All right, shift knobs off. I gotta push our little uh, reverse lockout detent pin, which is that guy is gonna pop out. And then this reverse lockout thing will come off and then we can start working our shift boot off and then keep going from there. All right, it's out now. We're gonna mess with Ricky. Watch this. Hey, Ricky. Yeah. The pin f***ed off. No. Yeah. Oh. Did it fly out? Yeah, like, Wait, so you can get it? I don't know, I can't find it. Dude, last time it flew out on me, I never found it. I knew this was gonna happen. You it warned him? Every time. You warned him? I told him. Actually, I didn't tell him. Do we have another one? Quinn, where are all my damn wrenches? Where's it? Do you have another pin? Shifter's almost out. There's one little snap ring that we need to take off inside of there, and then this whole thing will come out. I love snap rings. Ah! You got it? So, I don't know if you can see this right here. So, this is the rear bushing for the short shifter. Um, we have a new one from Carboy. So, we're gonna take this two 12 millimeter bolts out. It's gonna loosen this up. And over here, you see this other. I mean, that looks like a 40 millimeter. Anyways, we'll take this bolt out and this will come loose and we have another set of bushings for here. So this is the front set of short shift bushing. This is the rear set. And then on top is what Quinn has, which is the actual shifter itself. And it's got a center bushing. And then when you replace those three parts, that's when we get the actual short shifter from Carboy. Complete it. So it's not hard. It's just a little bit of time consuming. And because it's all wheel drive, you have the exhaust and the drive shaft in the same spot. Yes, to be. It's really not hard at all. It's not. People say that I have to remove the exhaust. I said that wrong. Every time I've done this, I never take the exhaust off. There you go. Sheesh. All right, now we come over here. We are. Oh wow, that's a big difference. Jesus. Looks like this. That looks so much bigger, but. <laughs> that's what she said. Yeah. But the distance between the holes is the same. You see how this is yeah, very, it's like very weak, flimsy. very weak. This would be a lot stiffer, so and this we're going is, to take and this, this off. This is a solid piece of urethane, right? Yeah, correct. To... Yeah. It's still oh. rubber. No, it's still no. rubber. Okay. But it's very, very strong rubber. No, but this one is like, it's got like a metal frame and then just a little right. bit of very soft, very soft rubber. This one has like solid um, yeah. sleeves, which once you tighten it up, it'll make this extremely solid and then it'll make this a lot stiffer than, yeah. than this freaking thing. Yeah, if you squeeze this, there's like no movement. But when you squeeze right. this one, there's a ton of play in this. And look, this is brand new. This is what? Less than 10,000? How many miles are 3,000 miles! 3,000 miles, and this is already yeah. looks like that. Okay. Oh, nice little. Hello. Our Freak. <laughs> we're going to. We're going to. Ah, we're going to give some for Quinn. 
Yeah, get it, Quinn. This is like solid in there, right? So we're gonna have to cut it off. Maybe I should use a razor blade, not a knife, but. I should definitely use a razor blade. <laughs> yeah, it's like that. And then you. Again. And then you. And then you. One last time. And then you. And then. Ready to go, baby! Coming in. Oh, you. <laughs> you guys notice how I took it out? I got a reverse psychology, the same thing over and over. Oh, no. Oh. Quinn, can you hold it? This way. Hold it right there. Um, can you spin it? All right, so now, there's two bolts here. These bolts are uh, from Carboy. They're longer, yeah, because it's pushing a lot longer. Everything is uh, mounted and installed. Uh, the next step is gonna be for me to put the uh, heat shield back on, then the O2 sensor, and then uh, plug everything back in while well, Quinn's working on the side of the car. Uh, Quinn? No, he's all asleep, Ricky. You have to wake him up. <laughs> You're up, buddy. So right out the gate, you can see some upgrades on the carboy shifter. So this is a plastic, probably like a Delrin material, a spherical ball joint. And then this one is all metal, which is nice. Sweet. Time to start installing our throttle shift knob, baby. Woo! All right, there we go. Ricky, we're jamming, baby! Out? Oh. Yep. It's definitely more crisp. It sounds more crisp. But it's short for sure. 40%? I think 40% maybe? I think the inch is here. Alright, uh, third gear. The truth. Wait, it was a five and a half before. Five and a half, and then it went to eight and a half. Okay, go. Oh, look at that. It's like this is and five a and a half. So he's like, it's like three quarters that way, right? Five eighths. Wait, what? Anyways, what? this is this is five and a half. So the center of this should have been here before, right? Are you not. in? You're in neutral. Or you're in third. I'm in third. Okay. That's third. Remember? In third, yeah. it was five and a half. And it was eight and a half before, right? It was. So now it's at exactly seven. So it's an inch and a half. That's not bad. It is an inch and a half shorter now. It's not bad at all. That's awesome. This is supposedly the most dramatic upgrade you can do to these cars. It feels good. The only way to go. It was very sloppy before. All right, Carboy Shifter, first drive. Tell me what you think, Ricky. What I really like about it is that you can feel everything going to every gear. It's, like, it's not notchy, though. It's not notchy, but you can feel it like going into gear. Before, I, in my opinion, I think it was just too soft. Because they kind of- Too flimsy. Yeah, because it, it, it felt like it was, you know how you're in neutral, you go left and right? It felt the yeah. same way going up and down to gears. Like now it's like, you can actually tell you went into third or second or fourth. It's definitely shorter, for sure, it's shorter. And it's not like so short that you can't tell what gear you're in, but it's like just perfectly short enough. It's good, just like uh, just like the other ones. It's perfect, ooh, what are they gonna build here? But dog, but the throttle shift knob, dog, woo! Ooh. Feels way better. See how it like it locks into gear. 
All right, so after the test drive, what do you think? I think it's good. It feels, it looks like it feels super notchy. You can definitely feel the detents in it and it looks way more satisfying to yeah. drive. Maybe I shouldn't sure. let you drive it. <laughs> 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 anyway, shout out to Carboy. The shifter like always, it amazes us every time we install it because it's so much different from the uh, OEM one that comes out of the car. Uh, don't forget guys, we actually sell Carboy products on our website, so you can go to throttle.com and actually buy the stuff that you guys just saw us install and it also gets you entries to win this bad boy right here. Oh yeah, how long did it take us to actually install this? I would say about an hour and a half. About we an had, hour and a half. We had a lift. We had we a had lift, lift. So that helps. Tools. Um, so you didn't have to take the exhaust off. You didn't take the exhaust off. A lot of people take yeah. the, the mid pipe off. Yeah, this. everybody told me you, you're supposed to take it off. I, every time I do this, I don't. So maybe that's why it took longer. I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, that was it. I uh, hope you guys liked it. And don't forget the next video for this thing. We have some sick ass parts going in. And you guys are going to really enjoy it. So see you guys in the next video. Don't forget. Don't, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> Caught in 4K! Caught in 4K! Sheesh! <laughs> oh, third time, buddy! <laughs> Three times! Hey, can you press the reverse lockout? Reverse lockout! No, you can't yet. You can't take it out. So there's a process that you have to lock the reverse lockout down here before you can take your job. Okay, well, I already did it. It's okay. I'll do it manually. So does, does that mean it won't work anymore? No, it just means that I have to do it manually. Why are you moving the shifter? Quinn. Stop moving the shifter. Quinn, you're gonna pinch Ricky's finger in there. Yep. Yeah, he's working on top. <laughs> what what is that? I'm an arm. Yes. Ew, you tight I mean. finger. <laughs> it's perfect. Ooh, what are they gonna build here? Burn out pit? Your mom's house? Your mom's what the house? hell? <laughs> That's what Sean, I said that yesterday. I said, what are they building here? Sean's like your mom's house. <laughs> Quick half hour install. <laughs> half hour? No. Not half I took hour. them half hour just to put the pin back on. So. <laughs> no, literally when I Googled it, the instructions from Carboy it says half hour install. <laughs> but there's no way. We had a lifter, two guys working on it, and definitely wasn't a half hour install.